going on guys we're back at it with another one and today we're resuming from last week i had that major migraine boy was it bad i just went home and slept in the dark drank a bunch of water but now today we're feeling a lot better today we're going to finish up what we started last week we're going to go to another part of this area and we're going to fish some bridges down in the lower part so let's see what we can do
just got out to the spot. I surely hope there's some fish here considering that rod I just went through. The road's becoming pretty horrible. Uh, it's a little flooded out. Not too bad with water-wise with the puddles and being flooded out, but there's a lot of potholes, uh, way more than there ever used to be. So this road's just getting worse and worse. So if you happen to kind of know where I'm at, just know that the road conditions are not the best. So if you have a car or something, I would not recommend coming out here. Maybe like a Jeep or a pickup truck like I have will be just fine. But anyhow, we have some more cichlids. I just caught a few more at the upper part of this area and we're gonna live line them. See if we can get some peacock bass, tarpon, largemouth, snook. Let's see what happens. I tried quite a bit at this first spot here. Actually like my third cast of my bait caster. I don't know if it was a tarpon or a snook off one of the points over there. Grabbed the lure, I thought it was, I thought I got snagged. I didn't even set the hook. And then as I cranked down, the fish came up and spit the hook. So I didn't even really see what it was. It was silver, but snook can be silver. So I'm not sure. It didn't look like it had big scales on it. So that's why I'm saying it was a nice size snook. But anyhow, a little disheartening. We're gonna go to another bridge that's down the road, that away is a little bit, and see if my old peacock bass spot has come back to life. We just made it to another spot. We're at another nuclear power plant, the one I usually see Chris and I fish at, but the water level is super high. It's even going into this, uh, this prairie, this grass land right over to my left here and I had to wade through up to chest high, up to chest high grass and water about this deep. Boy, I mean, telling you, talking about dangerous, that is super dangerous where it's dry is a great place for rattlesnakes and where it's wet is a great place for water moccasins. I do not recommend walking through high grass in South Florida at all. Because at some point you're gonna come across a venomous snake and you don't want to come across it at your ankles. That would not be good way out here. But anyhow, we're gonna to toss in a live cichlid. We're gonna cast around a swim bait and see if we can get any peacocks, tarpon, snook, largemouth bass, our typical suspects. So let's see what happens. Here we go. What do we got? <laughs> you got a little baby peacock on the swim bait. <laughs> I didn't even realize I had a fish on. <laughs> I can't believe that. This is funny. Got to get a picture of this. And there he is, little tiny baby peacock on the NOBN swim bait. <laughs> See you, bud. <laughs> There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a gator. Gosh, that gator just went after my swim bait subsurface. Get out of here. No way. <laughs> what the heck was that about? I didn't even see that gator there. Can't believe that. Almost caught an alligator on a swim bait subsurface. Gators really don't eat underwater. That's pretty strange. I just think we were getting a bite. Yeah, we got something good. Feels real good. What do we got? Peacock. Nice. Heck yeah. All right. There's another one with them. Really nice. Beautiful fish. Gorgeous fish. Let's just make sure that gators. Oh, that other peacock sitting there watching. All right. Come on. Don't worry. We'll get your mate back to you. Oh. Ouch, ouch, just popped the hook out. 
and as I popped it out, the hook went right into my thumb and past the barb and I just ripped it out. Ow, doesn't look that bad, but ow, <laughs> that hurt. Ouch. <laughs> okay, let's get this peacock to the good camera. Let's check her out. Here's a beautiful peacock bass. Gorgeous little female. She's probably like a pound and a half, two pounds. I saw our mate in there, so we're gonna try to catch her mate. Let's get her back in. All right, girl. Let's get you home now. Please, no alligators. There's like no bank for me to work with here today. And she's ready to go instantly. See you, girl. Thank you. So we move to another spot. Uh, this peacock bass fishing has been super, super tough today. So we're running around to different spots, back and forth, miles in between, horrible conditions on the roads out here right now. So. Let's pray that we can pull off a few fish at this last spot before we go home. I see a thunderstorm way out west of here. It looks like it's coming this way. So let's see if we can get one or get a few before that happens. I think we got one on here. Yep, just a little peacock. Bigger one chasing it, obviously. Bigger one chasing it. That's funny, if I had two hooks, <laughs> I'm gonna get both peacocks. All right, this is a smaller one. Let's get him off the hook. We got another bait on. Let's see if we can get that bigger one and we'll get the bigger one on the nice camera. Okay, here's that little peacock right there. We're gonna send him home, see ya. Let's see if we can get that bigger one. Okay, we're trying to do this before this thunderstorm comes and it gets too late out. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, big peacock, come back. All right, here we go, guys. Got one on. Feels like a good one. Oh, it came off. God darn you, it came off. Okay, let's get that bait back under there. This thunderstorm is on its way, as you see, and I could hear it rumbling away, so not good. Let's see if we can pull off one more fish before the storm hits. You guys, got one. What do we got? We got an Oscar, okay. All right. Well, let's get this Oscar up. Let's see if we can get another peacock bass, though. Big Oscar. All righty. We'll get him to the good camera. It's a pretty cool looking Oscar. All right, guys. All right, guys. We just got this beautiful Oscar here. Gorgeous fish they are. Always like catching these things. Always like catching these things. Look how pretty they are. Look at that bullseye on its tail. I know it's a little smudged there because of some sand. But what a gorgeous fish. We're going to get this in and see if we can get one last peacock bass. Got one on here. Here, bud. You want to reel in? It's a big one. Bring him in. There you go. You're going to come on in the YouTube channel. There you go. Go ahead. Bring him in. Real, keep bring him in like Grandpa got you. There you go. Look there how big go. that one is. Wow. Look at that big one. That's a big one. Keep them in the water, keep them in the water. We're keep them in the water, Bobby. Try to hand line them up, okay? So what we're gonna do, you watch. Be careful, Bobby, lift watch the rod up and you'll break it. Concrete, concrete. Walk backwards a little bit. Bobby, don't put the rod on the, on the concrete. Holy Look at that, bud. It's a big peacock bass, isn't it? Hey, look at it. Whoa. Let's check this out. Better come better on over there. there. We're gonna come on on the YouTube channel. We're on YouTube, right? We got a nice father and son here. He got this beautiful peacock bass. What's your name? Yeah. Miguel. Miguel reeled in this beautiful five pound peacock bass. Beautiful colors on her. Absolutely amazing. I guess I got a new subscriber now, huh? There you go. Oh you, yeah, you got a new you got subscriber. A camera? Huh? You got a camera? Yeah, hang on. Let me we're, gonna get a, we're gonna get a picture of this beautiful peacock bass and Miguel. Look at that. Beautiful bass. I mean, yeah. Peacock there bass. Go. Peacock bass. You know where they're from? You know where they're from? You know where the Amazon is? Okay. Down in South America? That's where these fish are from. How oh, cool, we're gonna let this beautiful bass go. Thanks, bud. Yeah. There, there he goes. goes. How about that? Yep. Dale, vamos para que tu coja. You wanna go? What are you catching with? Worm? Uh, no, so I'm using worms to catch these little fish. How cool is that, guys? This random father and son just pulled up. Happened to get a runoff from a peacock bass and little Miguel there reeled it in. We got a couple more cichlids left. Let's see what we can do. Okay guys, we got one more little cichlid left. How cool is that? Little Miguel catching that big old female peacock bass. What I did there guys was I'm tossing my bait under the bridge. 
So when it's really hot like this, fish take cover. Fish take cover and they'll be chilling underneath structures like bridges or around pilings and dams and lily pads. Anything that they could take cover with. But let's see if we can get one more cichlid, uh, one more peacock bass on our cichlid. Peacock bass is a cichlid, but you know what I'm saying. Let's see if we can catch one more fish on this last piece of bait. It is starting to rain. I don't know if you can see that in the video. And that is why I took away my good camera because these good cameras and water do not mix. So let's see what happens.
has come to the end of the day. It is just about 5 p.m. We have a thunderstorm on our heels. It's starting to rain. The fishing has got very, very slow. I mean, it's been slow all day, but had a little spurt here at this bridge that you always see me at, and then it died out pretty quick. How about that big peacock bass that Miguel caught? Miguel and Albert, it was really nice to meet you guys. Glad that you stopped. And I just happened to get a bite when those guys stopped to chat and little Miguel there reeled in a top of the line peacock bass for Florida. Miguel, you really won't get them bigger than that here. So congratulations on a fish of a lifetime. I'm sure you're hooked now, but I'd like to thank you for watching this video. And my friends, always stay fishing and we'll see you on the next one.